Good morning, thank you for tuning in to your daily Wallops weather briefing for Friday, January 12th. We did see a very warm night last night for this time of year with temperatures running about 20 to 25 degrees above average. We are going to see another unseasonably warm day today with uh, persistent low cloudiness and some good chances of rain this afternoon before we return to more winter cold weather starting uh, tomorrow and into next week. Taking a look at our current condition or conditions across the region, we did see uh, t high temperatures, very warm yesterday, running about uh, 20, 15 to 20 degrees above average across the entire mid-Atlantic region. The warmest spot was Richmond, which was just shy of 70 degrees with, as a, with a high of 69. Other locations did see temperatures in the upper 60s across the area. Morning lows were also very warm across the region, uh, with many locations failing to fall below um, 50 degrees especially here across the Delmarva areas farther to the south. Some areas to the north did see temperatures as low as the lower to mid 40s. We did start to see some rain in portions of the mid-Atlantic this morning, mainly mainly uh, western portions of the mid-Atlantic with uh, Baltimore and Washington DC getting just above a tenth of an inch of rain in the uh, pre-dawn hours and Richmond as well receiving almost two tenths of an inch of rain before 12 Z this morning. As of 9 a.m., we are seeing those warm temperatures continue across the region with uh, lo most locations reporting the around lower to mid-60s. There is uh, this Ocean City only reporting in the 50s as they are seeing, are seeing dense fog across the area as well as so are we at Wallops. Taking a look at the sounding from 12Z this morning, we are seeing... Uh, some slightly breezy winds from the south just at the surface, but then right above the surface, those winds really pick up uh, to 50 knots and a little bit higher than that from 1,000 to, 1, to 6,000 feet. Then going above there, they actually die down to around 40 to 45 knots from the southwest from 9 to 20,000 feet before increasing again to 53 knots from the southwest at the 25,000 foot level. We are seeing a very high freezing level this morning, just above 11,000 feet. <clears throat> Taking a quick look at our uh, temperatures across the uh, f temperatures for January, we are seeing a very cold month for our temperature averages. We are seeing a monthly average temperature of 25.91 degrees, which is uh, more than 11 degrees below normal for this time of year. The record coldest January occurred in 1977 at uh, with an average temperature of just above 26 degrees. So we are right now on track to break the record for the coldest ever January for here at Wallops. We are going to see, a, like I had mentioned, another warm day today, but we can't expect the, to, those temperatures to plummet to below average temperatures yet again as we go into this weekend into next week. So it is looking like a uh, somewhat of a decent shot that we could get close to breaking that all-time January cold record here at Wallops or at least uh, tying it. Taking a look at our satellite and radar this morning, we are seeing persistent southerly winds across the area. Slightly breezy at times. We have had um, a couple very brief periods here at Wallops with uh, wind gusts to 25 miles per hour. But otherwise, we're just seeing wind gusts to around 20 to uh, 22 miles per hour across the region. We are seeing persistent rain showers to the on the west side of the bay, and that is going to continue through much of the day it is uh, we have been seeing that persistent fog here at wallops and we are going to be seeing those rain showers move into our area starting around lunchtime and persisting through the afternoon and evening with uh, some brief heavy rain possible at times taking a look at our surface analysis we are seeing uh, those rain showers off across uh, the mid-atlantic region ahead of that main front and uh, we are going to continue to see uh, we are going to be seeing those chances of rain showers like i had mentioned through the afternoon hours and evening then we should get a brief break late this evening. Still going to be seeing that low cloudiness persist um, through the evening hours, but could see a brief lull in the rain between the impulse that's going to impact us this afternoon and the main front. When we go into tonight, uh, around after about 2 a.m., we are going to be seeing that frontal zone cross the area, and we could be seeing another brief period of heavy rain as that front uh, crosses wallops through about 5 or 6 in the morning tomorrow. Taking a look at our forecast planners for today, we are going to be looking at uh, that rain moving across the area. We should start to see rainfall around lunchtime or shortly thereafter. As we move into this evening, we are going to be uh, looking like just a brief lull in the rain, mainly after between uh, 8 p.m. and midnight between the uh, impulse that's going to give us this rain this afternoon and the main front. 
The main front is looking to impact the area around uh, 2 a.m. and that is going to be our next chance for some brief heavy rain. And then the front will be moving off after about 6 a.m. and we're going to be seeing a colder flow behind that front as we move into Saturday morning. Taking a look at our Saturday AM planner, we are going to be uh, seeing an end to the rain by about 8 a.m. Could see an isolated light shower across the area, but for the most part, the rain should be ended by uh, 8 a.m. tomorrow. Behind there, we are going to be seeing uh, some very strong cold ejection. Some drier northwesterly flow is going to really ramp up as soon as that front passes the area. So we are expecting our high temperature to occur tomorrow morning, um, and we are going to be seeing those temperatures plummet throughout the day with... Uh, Early morning temperature is expected to be near uh, 50 degrees, and then as we go into the late afternoon and evening, we could see those temperatures fall into the 20s. For our Saturday, we are going to be looking at just a mostly cloudy day across the area for the afternoon. Those temperatures will continue to fall, as I had mentioned. As high pressure, as Canadian high pressure builds into the area, we're going to continue to see that pressure gradient tight, so we could be still seeing slightly breezy winds at times as that cold air mass moves in. For our Sunday, we're really going to get that, uh, continue to see that cold air moving into the area. It's going to be, a, we're going to see a return to below average temperatures as uh, Canadian high pressure settles across the region. We will be seeing those temperatures um, in the morning down into the teens with high temperatures only in the upper 20s. Let's take a look at our weather hazards for today. Mainly going to be seeing that chance of rain starting around noon and uh, persisting through the afternoon hours. Best chance of some possibly heavy rain is going to be between noon and 4 p.m. And then once that first impulse moves north of the area, we are going to be seeing just a brief break in rain. Still going to be seeing a chance of some widely scattered shower activity. But and then uh, after midnight, we are going to be seeing another chance for heavier rain as that main front moves through the area with end rain ending at about 6 a.m. We're going to be seeing a mild high today, not going to be seeing much change in the temperatures, expecting a high of around 57 degrees, and that's not going to change much as we go into tonight with temperatures still going to be in the lower to mid 50s. We are going to be seeing southerly winds continue about 12 to 17 knots throughout much of the entire day and into tonight as well. I'm not expecting uh, too many strong wind gusts, just a, maybe a brief wind gust to a uh, wind, uh, wind advisory criteria, especially in heavier showers, so can't rule out a wind advisory for this afternoon. Taking a look at our terminal forecast, we are continuing to see those very low ceilings with uh, uh, quarter mile visibility and fog across the area. We do anticipate that to continue through the morning hours. This afternoon, it should, conditions should improve just a little bit, but we're still going to be looking at uh, visibilities less than one statute mile, and we're still going to be looking at those ceilings less than 500 feet for much of the afternoon and evening, especially if we get into any uh, heavier rain showers. As we go into Saturday morning, we'll start to see those clouds very slowly break up. And by Saturday morning at 8 a.m., we're just going to be seeing that ceiling rise up to 2,500 feet with still an overcast deck at 5,000 feet. But visibilities should be quickly improving. Taking a look at the next three days, we're going to be seeing the, morning, the uh, high temperature for our Saturday happen in the morning. A high of only about 48 degrees expected by uh, 8 a, at 8 a.m. and then falling thereafter. We are going to be seeing uh, mostly cloudy skies. Can't rule out a slight chance of an isolated lingering shower uh, near 8 a.m. And we are going to be seeing continued slightly breezy conditions as that pressure gradient remains tight due to high pressure building into the region. For Saturday night, we're going to see a partly to mostly cloudy skies. It's going to be very frigid with a low of 16. We will be seeing a pretty good chance of those wind chills dropping below 10 degrees Saturday. And then on Sunday, we're going to be struggling just to get up to 30 degrees as that Arctic air mass moves back into the area under partly cloudy skies and expecting a cold high of only 30. Taking a look at our seven day forecast, as you can see today is going to be the warmest by far in the extended outlook. Tomorrow we are going to start to see a return to more uh, winter like temperatures with that high occurring in the morning and then by Sunday morning those low temperatures will be below average yet again down into the teens. Sunday is going to be a cold day not expected to see a uh, above freezing for Sunday with another cold low expected of 13 degrees as we get some calmer winds with that uh, cold air mass. On Monday we're going to see temperatures a little bit better, a little bit of just but just slightly above freezing only at 36 degrees. And Tuesday we're going to see a little bit more cloud cover across the area. Temperatures should be a little bit more closer to seasonable around 41 but still seeing those cold morning lows in the lower 20s. 
There is uh, a chance of some wintry weather in the middle of next week. Models still are in quite a bit of disagreement on the amount of wintry weather and even the timing, with some models indicating snow falling as early as Tuesday, others indicating as late as uh, Wednesday evening. So it does look like a good consensus will be we will be seeing some scattered snow showers on Wednesday. Not looking like nearly as much as we saw in our last snowstorm, but uh, there is a growing chance that we will be seeing at least a uh, couple inches here at Wallops. And of course, as the uh, forecast evolves, this will be changing quite a bit, especially with the uh, inconsistencies in the models. But we will be keeping an eye on that as we move into next week. And then uh, we will be continuing to see cold temperatures as we go into Thursday and Friday with a uh, high of only 29 degrees expected. That'll do it for your daily weather, weather briefing. We'll be back on Monday morning, or at Tuesday morning rather, at 8.15 a.m. and at 10 a.m. Have a great weekend.